SQL Server Programming and Database Design for Developers. This is Kalmantov. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and in your local bookstore. Let's consider the issue of uh, inner join between a table product subcategory and a group by subquery. Let's check out first the group by subquery because it's not a correlated query. We can just uh, highlight it and uh, execute it. And this is the result. We see the product subcategory ID and the aggregates. For example, product subcategory ID and black color where are 16 items or average list price. So we see two aggregates here, the color count and the average list price. And the grouping is done on product subcategory ID. Here is the issue though. Now, instead of product subcategory ID, we want the subcategory name. To do that, we have to inner join the product, subcat uh, product subcategory table to the derived table which is made from the subquery by aliasing it. This is the alias GR for group. And the name is going to come from the product subcategory table. Let's call it subcategory. The join is done on product subcategory ID which is uh, present both in the derived table and present in uh, the product subcategory table. We have a red squiggly invalid column name. This comes from IntelliSense. Thank you, IntelliSense. We fixed it quickly. And then we can uh, run the query again. We can run the entire query. Execute. So we have the final result set. The subcategory is coming from the subcategory table and everything else is coming from the group by query. So this is how we can uh, inner join a group by with uh, tables. Let's scroll down. So the last item is wheels, the color is black and there are 14 products in the product offering of Adventure Work Cycles and this is the average list price. When we see the subcategory twice that means that uh, there are two colors in that subcategory. For example in touring bikes actually we see blue and yellow and touring frames obviously those are blue and yellows unless we change the color schemes and road frames we see black red and yellow with the appropriate aggregates the aggregate is a color count 11 17 and 5 respectively and the average list price now the average list price looks pretty ugly. In SQL Server 2012 there is a magical format command 
and let's just save it control C and we want currency formatting with uh, no decimals and the culture is English US as average list price let's execute the query again and now we see that um, the price is uh, average list price is formatted in summary group by query is very powerful because uh, we can fingerprint a large data set very easily with group by grouping and group by aggregates such as average or sum or count. This process is called profiling itself when we are profiling a large data set with group by query. Group by inner join query is when we are inner joining the group by subquery which we make into a derived table with regular tables. Once we make the group by subquery a derived table, we can use it in inner joins just like a regular table. This is the end of a short demo.